It's rampage math, and are you ready for mathmorize your vocabulary? For natural numbers, think of the natural way nature, natural way to count. A kid learning how to count begins with one, two, three, four. Going up, there are whole numbers. Now, for the next one, a whole number, think of that O as a zero. So it's basically the same natural numbers, but including a zero. For integers, look at this letter I. Think of it as space going to the left, space going to the right. Therefore, it includes the middle is a zero, and this one are the positive whole numbers. To the left are the negative whole numbers. A vertical and a horizontal line. Don't forget, a vertical line is like an arrowhead. It's telling you now, the line goes up and down. A horizontal line, think of this line at the middle. It goes left and right. Therefore, horizontal line, vertical line goes up and down. Percent is from the root word per, meaning for every... Cent, think of it as a century, century for every 100. So it is something over 100. A percent is this number out of 100. The symbol percent means this one is a 1, this one is a 0, and this one is a 0. Everything is based on 100. Therefore, if you have 5%, that means 5 out of 100. So a fraction has a numerator, the one on top, and the denominator, the one below. So you won't forget it. Remember, D represents down. So the number down, denominator. And N represents not down. 5, denominator down. 3, numerator not down. Therefore, it is up. An exponent 5 to the third power. Which is the base and which is the exponent? Think of this as the B base, the bigger number. The bigger number, the base. Think of this as E, the exponent. That's the elevated elevated number so b base bigger e is the exponent and the elevated one and of course you know that five to the third is never five times three never do that it actually means five times five times five which is a hundred and twenty five Mean, median, and mode. Mean, remember, the A here means it's the average. And we know that you have to add and divide by the number of items. Median from the median, meaning the middle. Which is the middle number if you arrange the numbers from least to greatest. Okay, The mode, think of the MO, you need to know the most. Which number has the most frequency, most repeated number? Why? Whenever we see a coordinate point like 1, 3, we know this is the X and this is the Y. So that you won't forget, think of the alphabet. W, X, Y, Z. So follow the correct order. The first one is the X, the Y should always be the last. So this is the X and this is the Y. It cannot be w y x z but w x y z therefore you go first then you're next the linear equation y equals mx plus b so what is the m m is the slope but why is slope a letter m because the letter m has angles like this like a mountain these are the slopes of the mountain B is the y-intercept. Y-intercept. Why is it letter B? Because it is where the line will bump. Bump the y-axis. The y-axis. It is where x is equal to 0. And that is the y-intercept.
intersection. Math vocabulary made easy.